welcome to Break Into Tech Show with Professor Temi Akinwumi of My IT University, a multi award winning tech CEO, career coach, and mentor. With decades of hands on tech career, will ensure your career dreams come true. Join our extraordinary show today on groundbreaking topic for a successful career. Do you want a $100,000 job as a cybersecurity professional, scrum master, business analyst software QA, cloud architect, data analyst, technical recruiter, and more? Visit www.myituniversity.com to schedule a call. Come and get inspired to secure a lucrative job. Keep the job and grow on the job. Relax, receive, and see results. We're glad you're here. Share, like, and comment. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our show today. Thank you so much for being here. You know who I am. My name is Professor Temi. I came with me. And uh, I've been in tech for a while. So I welcome to this show. I'm here to give back and to empower our community. I'm always super excited to come back here every single week to give back and to empower you and to help you understand the terrain of tech and how to break in. So I need to know where you are joining us from. We're going to be discussing a lot of things. We always are here on this on this um, show. We talk about you know tech experts, including our alumni from IT University, and uh, so that you can learn from them and you know their career journey, their views on the tech industry, and the work they have done that set them apart. So it's going to be a wonderful discussion today. Um, we're going to be learning how to get smarter. We're going to be looking at different quizzes and stuff like that. That's going to help us today. We're going to have fun as you come along with me today. Um, let's, let me share with you my years of experience in tech. I've been in tech for three decades and I've been, you know, supporting a lot of national critical projects on even on projects that if I tell you, I pretty much have to kill you <laughs> kind of projects, you know, uh, for the nation, for the state, for the counties and different things like that, you know, for a while, for a long time now. And I'm super excited to have mentored thousands of engineers into tech. And yours will not be an exception. I'm here to also help you mentor you into tech. I know you are joining me from all over the world. So I need to know where you're joining me from. Say hi and let me know exactly where you are located, you know, so that I can greet you properly and also, you know, be able to, to you know, to share with you maybe what is available in your area. Um, if you are trying to break into tech, you know, this is our website, myituniversity.com. You can always schedule a call with me. Uh, let me see who is joining me today. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful morning to you. Ibilaja at the BC. Hi, Prof. Ibilaja says, hi, hi Ibilaja, how you doing today? It's always good to see you. I have Princess. Uh, okay, I have Victor. Victor, thank you, Victor. Welcome. How are you doing today? Um, I have Kike. Kike, good morning, Princess. How are you doing, Princess Kike? Oh, my Lord. I have a lot of people. I have Jonas. Jonas, so beautiful. Nice to see you, Jonas. And um, yeah, amen, Kike. I see Kike is from Maryland. Let me know where you're joining me from. Ibilaja is from Maryland. Kendi is joining us as well. Hi, Prof. Hi, Kenny. Ellen of Troy, as always. Hello, Ellen. And everyone, you say hi. Ellen is saying hi to you all. And I have Franklin. Oh my God. Franklin is joining us from Costa Rica. Oh, how blessed are we this morning that people are joining us from all over the world. And Kike says, I'm, I'm fine. I'm blessed, Prof. How are you? I'm blessed and highly favored. Oh, I'm super excited. Let's share this with everybody. Uh, if you are joining me from Facebook, from, from LinkedIn, from Instagram, let me know where you're joining me from. Hi, Fola Kemi. Good morning. How are you doing? Loved, lovely, lovely day to you. Adiba from Maryland. Thank you for joining. And we also have LinkedIn user from Kentucky. Oh, Pastor Andrew. Thank you for joining. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Thank you so much, everybody. See, we're gonna, what we're going to do, you know how we do it. We're going to have a wonderful time today. It's going to be quiz. We're going to talk about cybersecurity quizzes. 
I want to start some series, some quizzes that's going to really help you prep for interview or prep you for your job that you are doing correct currently. And we're going to see if we're going to have a lucky winner. So that's the plan. We're going to be doing this series from time to time. So today is going to be on cybersecurity. It's actually a continuation of what we did on on um, on Facebook, on, on our clubhouse, actually. You know, we are in a lot of places. We're on clubhouse, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we are on Instagram, we are on, on LinkedIn too. So we did some things. We always do a lot of wonderful programs on clubhouse three times a week. 6 p.m. Eastern time. So this is a continuation from some of those things that we did there. We did we did a lot of um, quizzes. And tonight we're going to do some quizzes as well. So on project management and Scrum Master tonight on Clubhouse. So make sure you come on and join us on Clubhouse. Okay. So today we're going to be discussing about, so I see for Lakemi here, you say good morning. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So let's go in. Let's share this with everybody. Let's make sure people can see us. It's going to be a live one. Have your pen and notepad ready. You know, so let's put some smart, cyber smart to the test. Let's put some of you guys that are already cyber smart or trying to be aspiring to be cyber smart. Let's put you to the test. You know, let's have a little fun doing doing this, right? So we're going to do some prep with those quiz. Not only will that enable you to impress your friends, but like I said, co-workers and, uh, you know, your new, you know, some of you are going to be a new fun knowledge for you. And some of you are able to do better and get better equipped to protect yourself and also protect your yourself in the job market and get a good job to prep yourself. So like I said, grab your pen and paper. Get ready to put your skills into the test. Okay, so let's see who's going to be our lucky winners. So let's go, let's go. So I'm going to be sharing this slide with us so we can roll. Let's roll, let's roll, people. Yes, yes, yes. And if you're trying to break into tech, you know what to do. You schedule a call with me so we can make it happen. So thank you for that. So I hope you can see my slide. I hope you can see my slide. And then you're going to be commenting in the section so I can, I'll be able to read it out loud. Who, um, you know, what we are working on. Very good. So this is how we're going to do it. So quizzes, quiz time. <laughs> It's going to be Q and A, so you can pick your answer, A, B, C, whatever you want. Go for it. So let's go, people. Let's go this beautiful money. So the first question, let's share this. Let's share this quickly with all that. We want more people to join us so they can learn, too. We don't want to be the only one that will be enjoying all this stuff, right? We want other people also to be able to enjoy with us. Okay, so let's see if this is good. So what is the main purpose of encryption in cybersecurity? Why do we do encryption? What is encryption? And why do we do encryption, right? Encryption is pretty much, okay, I won't say it yet. Let me, let me finish this because we're going to have a series of them and I'm going to be explaining things to you as we go. So why do you do encryption? So, hi, Celestine, how are you doing? So from Hungary, thank you for joining us. So we have A, to prevent unauthorized access to sensitive information. B, to increase the speed of data transfer. C, to improve the quality of data storage. And D, to reduce the cost of data storage. What am I seeing? So we, is it, um, Celestine said A. And then Cbex, hello. OK, so welcome, Cbex. We're, we're doing this thing. You can join us. Linux users, users say A. And LinkedIn user said A. Afi said A. Let's see. Victor, Victor, okay. Victor is joining us as well. Abib, okay. Everybody, Jonah said A. So a lot of A's, right? Okay, let's see the answer in the daily double. <laughs> let's see who's going to win because a lot of people are saying A's. So I think something is right here. Okay, A, to prevent unauthorized access to sensitive, sensitive information. Okay, so what is encryption? Who can define encryption for us? Why? What is encryption? What is encryption? Let's see. Do we know what encryption is? My cyber student. Let's see who knows what encryption is. I want to read from you. I want to make, let's make this interactive. Let's learn. Encryption. Who is giving me that? Who is giving me encryption? What is encryption? 
Okay. Are we giving me? I'm sure some people are ty texting me or typing some things out in the comment section. So we know that encryption is what? Encoding data. From plain text to what? To an unintelligible format. So a cipher text. Which is in a key, a cryptographic key. So encryption is, is divided into two parts. There's asymmetric and symmetric. Okay? If you want to learn more about encryption, you do what? Schedule a call with my university. Come and take the security plus class and the cyber security classes. You will learn a lot about encryption. You will need to encrypt the system so that, yeah, very good. People are giving me answers. Let me see. Yeah. Converting info into code to prevent access yes very good to prevent un unauthorized access very good so that people that only have the key will be able to assess it and as you said encryption basically encoding some information to prevent unauthorized beautiful excellent thank you guys thank you thank you thank you i'm super proud of you guys very good thank you thank you so let's keep going let's keep going so what is firewall in cybersecurity? What is firewall in cybersecurity? A, a device of software that control network security by filtering incoming and outgoing network traffic. B, a device that enhances sees the, the performance of the network. Okay. And A and C, a device that enhances the quality of data storage and D, a device that reduces the cost of data storage. Okay, I think CBEX is giving us information from the one we already discussed. Thank you, CBEX, yeah, for the encryption. That is great, thank you. Yeah, so for this, we are having people giving me feedback. I have Ellen of Troy A, Princess A, Afis A, Matthew Oshodi, welcome Matthew, how are you doing? Abib A, um, Afis A, Abib A, we have LinkedIn user also A, wow, everybody's saying A, right? Joy Akin, Akin Koye A, oh, beautiful. So everybody is speaking A, right? Beautiful, guys. So that means A is what? Let's see if you are correct. A firewall is a, um, in cyber security is everybody saying a and m lynette just join us also say a m lynette macon say a are you doing um macon so hey that's moses that's good nice to see you moses so so firewall is what a device or software that control network security by filtering incoming and outgoing network traffic. And Celestine also said a hey, beautiful Celestine from Hungary. Thank you. So is a device or software that control network security by filtering incoming and outgoing network traffic. How, do, how does that work? How does that work? Firewall. Firewall. Thank you, Civex. How does it work? When it's blocking traffic, the firewall is building it's building like a uh it's like a, a it's like when you are in your house and you have a gate so people cannot come in or go out unless they come through that gate and let's say that gate now have a security code the only certain people will be allowed to get in or that that gate has a security guard or somebody that stays there that's looking at a certain log and say okay you allow you are not allowed so we can filter traffic right in going and out going, in ban and out band. Okay, so firewall is a good way to protect traffic, and it is used for so many reasons. There's hardware firewall, there's software firewall, and so many other new generation of firewall. Most of you use it every day at at home. Okay, so it helps us with that. Thank you so very much, everybody. I think we need to clap. And I don't see the clapping hand. Did you? Did you press? Press it. Press it. Press the clapping hand for yourselves. You all did a good job. I want to see that you are clapping for yourself right now. Let's move. Let's do it. Very good. Thank you so much. We're really doing very well today. Second question is, what is uh, what is phishing attack in cybersecurity? Phishing attack. Okay, let's go. A, very good, Kike. You're clapping right now. 
I think there's a clapping thing too. There, like um, the, you have to keep, click on the key to clap when you are in the show, in the live show. <laughs> okay, Jonah, say front line of defense for security. Okay, let's look at the answers. An attack that aims to steal sensitive information such as password and credit card information. Uh, B, an attack that aims to damage the computer system. C, an attack that aims to improve the performance of the computer system. And D, an attack that aims to reduce cost of data storage. You know, how do we know how to, how to which one to pick out? The only way we will know which one to pick is to eliminate the ones that are not, that we think are not the answers. Really? See? So it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, um, it's by eliminating. So we eliminate the ones that we think are not the answers. We say, okay, is it cost of data storage cost? No, I don't think so. They think, oh, make it. Okay, is it him to pro improve performance of uh, computer security systems? Improve? It's not going to improve anything. Attack, they said. So, no, it will not reduce. It will not improve anything. You take those ones out. Then you look at the last two. It's him, the attack that aims to damage the computer system. Okay, damage, maybe. Then you look at which one looks more closer. Hmm? Then you said the, the attack that aims to steal sensitive information, so that password and credit card information. You say, okay, maybe out of this two, one of them. So which one looks closer? So we have a lot of people saying A, hey, so let's see. Let's see what it is. And uh, Eleanor Troy said A, hey, Jonas, Princess, Matthew, Lincoln, Yusa, Afis said A. Hey. Um, Princess said, um, I saw... I saw password and credit card and did a process of elimination. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, the, and everybody say, Abib said A as well. And um, Celestine said A as well. And Cbex, I think Cbex is clapping hands. So thank you for, for that. And I see Jonas saying something. Jonas, what are you saying? Okay. Yeah, Jonas said A as well. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's go there, let's find out. Yeah, Osho D is clapping and they, be, they they really believe it's A. Let's see. Okay, A. You all got it. Got it, got it, got it, people. Let's do you're doing you're doing very well today. You seem very well today. An attack that aims to steal sensitive information, such as password and credit card numbers. So how does phishing attack work? What is phishing attack? Let's share this with others. Let's share this with others. How does it work? How does it work? Phishing attack is part of social engineering. When people try to reach out to you, unauthorized, you know, they are, they're just, they can be random people anywhere, trying to reach out to you by sending you some kind of email messages with links in them, and they ask you to provide some certain information. You click the link, you get infected. Hmm? Or it might be, so it's, so it's under social engineering, phishing attack. If the phishing attack is targeted towards certain group of people, then it's called spear phishing. So that means it's targeted towards certain group of people. If you, this, the phishing attack is um, for big executive of industry, we call it whaling, like you are trying to whale, W, whaling, you're cutting a big fish. <laughs> right. So if it's true XX, SMS, like text, it call, we call it smishing with S, smishing, S-M, smishing. So you just replace that with S-M, the first P-H, smishing. If it's true voice, the money call you on the phone. It's called vision. Okay, V-I-S-H-I-N-G, vision like that. So this attack is very common. So people will call you and say, oh, I'm IRS. If you don't pay blah 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 you are holding the rs you're going to go to jail R doesn't doesn't arrest people they say you pay to this account they may call i'm your bank i'm your bank can you provide me your so your security number your bank should have your security number already don't give them just tell them oh okay i'll call my bank don't give them that they should know that you know so the, all these things happen so you must be careful some people text you and said oh walmart is giving us out free whatever click on this link don't click it don't click those and don't send those out 
Sometimes they will say, okay, send this out to 10 people. If you don't send this to 10 people, something is going to happen. Don't send it out. Because those are smishing, you know, attack. Uh, fishing attacks, mission attacks, those are social engineering. They tend to behave that like they know you. They tend to familiarize themselves with you so they can get your information. Don't give them. Okay? Let's go. Let's go. You're doing well. You're doing well. Let's share this with others. There's a lot of uh, topics we're going to be discussing. Let's share this with others. What is the time for a computer program or script designed to damage or disrupt a computer system? Let me know where you're joining from. If you are just joining us, or somebody is saying something. And Sibek said, <laughs> when someone posts as though they were the original person talking to you or emailing you, they can hack your system. Yeah, your account. Very good, they can. They can hack your account. Yeah, and Sibek says imposter. Exactly. They try to be who they are not, right? Yeah. Thank you for commenting on the previous one. So here we we are now. So we have the next question. What is the time for a computer program or script design to damage or disrupt a computer system? Antivirus, firewall, malware encryption. Good. Oh my lord, my my cybersecurity student. They are doing well today. They are doing well today. Affix says C, and LinkedIn user says C, and Benjamin, welcome, Benjamin. How are you doing? Benjamin says, see. Okay. And um, I think to bait someone. Oh, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Celestine from Hungary. And Benjamin from Nigeria. Thank you. LinkedIn user says, see. Oh, we are rolling today. Ellen says, see. Kike. Matthew. Okay. So, Jonas. Oh Lord, everybody. Okay, Michael. Michael, welcome. And Joy as well. Oh Lord God. So everybody says C. Okay, let's see if we got it. <laughs> you guys are rolling, man. If you do server if you do security plus test, now you go, you are gonna be passing that test. Like, what is happening? I'm so proud you make me proud because you guys are following closely. Very good, malware. Very good, malware. You know, they are the one. They're going to destroy your system when you get infected with them. Okay? Very good. We're going to talk more about malware as we go. Beautiful. Patience is here. Oh, my Lord. Nice to see you, Patience. My service security engineer, we are doing good eyes work. Nice to see you. Thank you. So let's share this. Let's share this. Oh, so what is the time? The next question, what is the time for a cybersecurity for a security measure that require user to provide two or more authentication method to access a computer system or network? What is it? Two factor authentication, one factor authentication, three factor authentication, four factor authentication. And patience, reach out to me, okay? Reach out to me. I have something to to discuss with you guys give me the answer for this people are saying okay let's see what we have and guys you remember i told you last week about the good news about something we are putting together at my it university which is a like a, a, an interview prep kit that's gonna have you know if you are doing cyber security it's gonna have all the interview preps the interview question and answer scenario question question and answers it's gonna have all your all your uh, framework QA, you just slide it in. All you have to do is just listen it down there and listen, and it's just gonna prep you for all those interviews. That's gonna come in the pipeline before the um, let's say maybe some sometime next week. So look out for it on my university. I'm gonna everybody's gonna be able to purchase this at a discounted price. So you just have it once for a lifetime, and once you are trained, you are mentoring, you can have that as extra extra for you to just prep for any interview so it's gonna be coming out it's gonna be coming it's gonna really prep you you know scrum master you know cyber security cloud data and all of that okay very good what's the time for a security measure that require user so we're saying is a lot of us are saying is a hey, let's see let's see let's see okay 
So CBX say a eh, linking user say a eh, patient say a eh, Ellen of Troy said a eh, oh my lord you guys are rolling today. Benjamin say a eh, Afi say a eh, and um, Celestine said a eh, and Jonas said a eh. beautiful. So let's see if it's, if you are correct. <laughs> let's see if we are correct and it's a. Eh. Very good, very good. You guys need to be rolling, rolling, rolling. Two-factor authentication, A. What is that? Ellen of Troy said A. Ma Matthew, uh, Michael, Michael Ture said A. Very good, Michael. So what is that? What is that? Talk to me. Okay, let's do it like this. So what is that? What is two-factor authentication? Most of you now, when you log into your computer, or your phone is gonna or to an app it's gonna ask you to provide even though you are logging with your with your code or you are logging with your, your face like uh, your biometrics it's still gonna ask you to provide like a, a code that sends a code to your email or send a code somewhere or you're trying to get your your atm yeah Get 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 into your, your you know log into your ATM machine, and you put the card in, you put your code in. So that's multiple factor. It's using what you know, what you have, what you are, and all of that. So so it's like it's asking you to log in with your with your maybe password, and then it's asking for a pin. So that's two factor, and it can be more than two. It can be multi factor, like a patient said here multiple factor see it can be more than two it can be um your your card which is like going to the atm now your card and your pin code right that's multiple factor. that's two factor it can be more than two if it's more than two we can just say multiple factor so that means um you log in to your accounts in a, going to an app it's asking for your code and it's also using your your your, your uh, face you know, like your official, your, your biometric, what you have, what you have, what you know. See? So all those things are built into this. Mm. Even something where you are, you can use it. Like, oh, oh you, you, maybe you're supposed to be in the U.S., but you are not out of the U.S., and you're trying to access something, some system. It will tell you, oh, by the way, you are not, I, I don't know, your location doesn't show that you are there. Maybe it's your banking. I've seen it before. Your bank it to block you and said, "Oh, you can't access it because of your location, right?" So it can be where you are, what you have, what you know, what you are, what you are is biometrics, what you know is that secret code. Okay, what you have is your card that you have handy in your hand, things like that. Hmm? Very good. And the LinkedIn user said, "ID." Access management security method that require two form of ID to access resources of data. Very good, thank you. Okay, we are doing very well. I hope you are. Are you enjoying this? Is it flowing? Give me a yes. Give me a yes if it's flowing. Speak to talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> Give me a yes if this is actually flowing today. Let, talk to me. Talk to me. Is it flowing? Is it useful? Do you find this thing useful? Fun game and also we are learning. Are we learning? Talk to me. Are we learning today, real life? Learning, sharing with others, share this, share this, talk to me. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful, beautiful. Ellen say yes. Uh, um, Princess Kike say yes. Ellen also say yes. Beautiful, thank you ladies, thank you guys, thank you everybody for learning, for being here. You can be somewhere else, but you decide to be here. To learn and to shine, you know, and it's very important. <laughs> very important you are always on point prof thank you so much patience thank you thank you very much i try my best i'm doing all i can we need more people to break into this tech and that's what i'm doing helping people to break into tech very important to me and that is my life goal to help many people to achieve this goal and so help me god so <laughs> thank you so much jonas thank you and then we have um, Joy, thank you. Yes, 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 we are learning. 
yeah, loving every bit. Oh, LinkedIn user, thank you very much. And you know, tonight, come on, club bus, we're gonna be doing what? We're gonna be doing Scrum project management because see, it's not only about cyber security. I want you all to learn so that you'll be so robust in your learning. You have so much information you can learn, okay? Mm -hmm. So much information you can learn. And I think, um, so and you, we all can learn together. You all can learn from all this discussion, okay? So to check that the original person is uh, CBX, uh, CBX said, yeah, the original person is the one accessing the computer, the Facebook, the WhatsApp, the Google, the C, as this by sending a pin to your, yes, to confirm the goal. Very good, CBX. Thank you. Thank you, CBX. And uh, yeah, from your mouth to God's ear. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Andrew. And Kike, someone called me a Scrum Master two days ago, and I had to look at look it up to see what it meant are you kidding you don't know what scrum master is oh lord <laughs> yes yeah, scrum master is pretty much a code project coordinator like a project it's like managing project in an agile agile you know you know a framework setting that's another class that we also offer you know it's part of our offerings here at mighty university a lot of people broke into scrum last year just as cyber security as well as cloud and as well as data analysis. Yes, yes, yes. Very good, beautiful. Thank you so very much. Oh yeah, so you didn't know you know now. Yeah, can can ask some security question. Yeah, yeah, very good. I didn't know it now that now that you know. Thank you. So let's continue. So we're gonna continue. So let's ask about the what is denial of service attack in cybersecurity? What's the now service attack? What is the now service attack? So CBX, I'm not sure if you're saying, are you want to ask cyber security question? Is that what you said? I wasn't sure, it's not clear what you said. But if you have any question, ask it on, ask your question, please. So guys, what is the now service at attack? <laughs> An attack that aims to overload a network mm -hmm, or website with excessive traffic, right? Making it un unavailable to users. An attack that aims to steal sensitive information. An attack that aims to damage the computer system. An attack that aims to improve the performance of the computer system. So which one? Tolu, I see you joining up. Thank you, Tolu, for being here. So I have a lot of lovely, lovely comments. Um, Ellen say, hey, you guys are rolling today. Tolu said A, uh, Afi said A, LinkedIn user said A. We have two LinkedIn users now. So two LinkedIn users said A. <laughs> oh, Lord. Sarah, Sarah, welcome. Sarah said A as well. And Jonah said the prevention of unauthorized access uh, to resources or delaying of time critical question. Operations, operations, you say. Thank you, Jonas, for breaking it down for us. Okay, so we will check our answer. Good day, Prof. Yes, welcome. Welcome to Lou. Nice to have you. You know, we always meet here every Wednesday, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Let's be waiting for this because I promise you, you will never regret joining. This one hour or 45 minutes that we spend here, or even 30 minutes sometime, is, is going to be worth your while because I've already prepped. I already got things together to meet you. Make let's make it a date. Let's come together so you all can learn. It's for you. Everything I'm doing right here is for you, and you don't want to miss it. So join me live so we can make it. Bye bye today. Thank you for joining us. I'm super excited to have you as well. DDoS attack. Thank you, LinkedIn user Jonas said A. Abib said A. Okay, let's see, guys, if we are correct. If we are correct, and uh, hello, Prof. Oh, hola, uh, hola, Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Those are my superstars. We have a lot of superstars there. You all are shiny, shiny, shiny stars. I'm so happy to to have you all here today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So let's see, let's see, let's see how this works. Okay, 
I think we are rolling today. I think you guys are just getting everything right. Oh my Lord, I'm so happy. <laughs> hey, an attack that aimed to overload a network or website with excessive traffic, making it unavailable to user. So let's discuss that. What, what is that? Why does that happen? How does that happen? Did those attack? <laughs> Yay, excellent, beautiful. Somebody said, what, LinkedIn user? Hola, Cyber Ninja in the house. Yes, from Cyber Ninja, uh, 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 one of our mentoring groups, study groups. Very good, yes. Cyber Ninja to Cyber Ninja, beautiful. So what is that? There was this attack. How does that happen? An attack that helps overload the network and website with excessive traffic, making it unavailable to users. So that means the system get attacked. By what? By the attack is building up some robots, some robot requests to the server, to the network. And as that network gets so busy, the network gets so busy, bombard, they bombard the network with so much requests, bogus requests, that the servers now don't know what to respond to, what to do. It's a, out of that, everything just shut down. Excessive traffic, like boom, 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 boom. It's an attack, shut the system out. So that is what, what we call the a DOS uh, attack, DOS attack. Everyone is doing good, very good, good stuff. Good morning, good morning, good morning. MB in the classroom, oh my Lord. MB in the classroom. <laughs> Welcome. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They are trying to make the system unavailable. Yes, Tululokwe. That's what they're trying to do. And I see Michelle. Thank you. A said A. Thank you, guys. We're doing so good. We're doing so good. We're rolling, rolling, rolling like a like like a <laughs> like a rolling boat. We are rolling. We're sliding down. Very good. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Beautiful. We're all doing well. We're all doing well. We're all doing well. Oh, Lord, that is good. Let's share this with others. I'm so happy we are getting up to 29. We have 29 people in the house. Come on, guys. Let's share with others. If you can share with others, we can have more people join us. Let's get this number up to 50 today. We can do that by sharing with others on our profile or our LinkedIn you know, and see, sometimes most of you, most of us are trying to break into tech and maybe you are not with my university yet and you are thinking, oh man, I want to break into tech and I don't know, I don't have any IT background, I don't know what to do, but tell you, you can do it, you don't have to have an IT background, you can break into tech without no IT background, all you have to do is schedule a call with me, I'll talk to you and guide you to exactly what you need to do, www.myituniversity.com, that's our website. Just schedule a call. It's free. I'm going to talk to you for 30 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever time you have, and find out what you, about what you do now. Because you have transferable skills. You have hard skills. You have soft skills already. You see? So we can use that to break in. All these people, all my students, they don't have IT background, but they're doing well. Very well. Very well. Breaking into tech, doing very well. If we have to start giving testimony as a, this place will not never leave this place here. We will never live here. Prop the audio is echoing. Okay, maybe is it too loud? Is it echoing to everybody or is it okay? Guys, how, how, how are you guys hearing me? Is it okay or is it echoing? Let me know because I can't hear myself. You guys are the only one that can hear me. Is it is it okay or is it too loud? Okay, they're just giving me a a a. Let's see, let's see how you guys can hear me. Let's see how you guys can hear me. It's okay, okay. It's good as my okay. Maybe it's on your end, so you can lower the volume a little bit, so it doesn't echo. Okay, very good. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. So what is virus in cybersecurity? It's a type of malware that replicates itself and spread to other computers. A type of malware that distributes 
that disturbs, disrupts the computer system. A type of software that protects the computer system. A type of software that improves the performance of the system. That improves the performance. Well, we know virus does not improve performance. We know virus does, does not protect the system. Does it just disrupt the system? Does it replicate itself and spread to other computers? Which one seems like the best? Which one seems like the best? Okay, they said it's okay. Sound, the sound is fine. Okay, very good. So which one sounds like the best? Okay, as if Alakami said, A, okay. Then, um, Makinde, Makinde said A. And Sibek said, this could affect the bank, hospital website, email, or even flood. Oh, yes, it can, Sibex. Thank you. Um, Ken, they said it's okay and loud. Okay, very, very good. That's good. And the princess said, A, A, and, and somebody, Akindele, Kalawale said, B, Afik said, B. It's good that at least we have some people that are saying something else. It's not everybody saying the same thing. That's good sometimes. Troy said A. Very good. So malware, malware malicious activities that can cause damage to the computer. Yeah, okay. Let's see who else. And Semea said, hey, hi, welcome, Semea. How are you doing? Welcome. Sarah said B. A, Michelle. Sibex said, well done. Thank you. Thank you, Sibex. Thank you. Um, Lini Susa said, A. Okay, so Kendi said, A. Joy said, A. Celestine said, A. Joy said, A. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go in there. A. See, what you have to do, you have to see which one fits it best. Some might fit it 50%, but not all the way. So you have to find the one that fits it most. So that's what it is. So a type of malware that replicates itself and spreads to the other computer. Virus will infect. They're there to not only infect one computer or disrupt that computer or system, but they are there to actually replicate to the other system too. Hmm? You remember coronavirus? Maybe we we'll never remember that again. <laughs> Never see that again. I pray. Remember, coronavirus and it's not only infect one person, but the the major goal is to spread to everybody and to kill people, to destroy people, to do whatever it needs to do. So not only disrupt the system, but also spread to others. So the most correct one is a hmm? virus or worm. We are talking about virus. Virus also get infect other system. Do you see virus attack on system? One also will replicate, but virus will do the same. They are all under the same. Okay. Okay. So, um, the next questions. What is the term for the unauthorized use of someone else's computer or network? What is the term for the unauthorized use of someone else's computer or network resources? A, hacking, B, phishing, C, spoofing, and C, D, scanning. What is it? What is it? We're having a lot of A's today. What's going on? <laughs> I think it's an A day. <laughs> it's an A day. <laughs> okay. Give me that, give me that, give it to me. Let's see what we're doing. Give it to me. Okay, I've, I've seen a lot of A's, guys. Okay, Baba Tunde is going with A. Princess is going with A. Celestine said A. Tolokwe said A. Akin, okay, just give us the word, actually. Okay, Semia said A. Michael said A. Lee. Everybody saying a Linux user joy and and for like me, I was gonna say a lot of A's today. Yes, it's an A day, I think. We might find a B day some other day. Michael, Michelle, 
OE Peacock. Peacock, welcome. Peacock, we recognize you. Thank you. Mom T. Mom T say yes. Thank you, Mom T, for coming as well. Let's share this with others. So I think we are all going with A today. We are all going with this A. So, so it's, 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 we are all saying A. So Aki A. So what's Aki? Let's talk about it. What's Aki? Aki a system. Aki a network. What is that? What is that? Let's see. Akin fishing. We already talked about fishing, spoofing, scanning. What is akin? We have different type of akin. They are into the system, right? These are the threats, the threat actors. They get into the system, breach your system because your system is vulnerable. Your system is vulnerable for attack. The attacker can attack your system. So they are the hack attackers. They hack your system. They hack your system. They break into the system. Okay. So they break into your system. That's what it is. So that's what we're looking at. Unauthorized use of someone else's computer or network resources. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Okay, so what is the term for a type of attack that involves um, manipulating and exploiting software um, vulnerability to gain unauthorized access to a computer system or network? Somebody is giving us Aki. Let's see. Aki is when an authorized person access a system or network. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Thank you, Ola. Ola Olu. Thank you. So we're looking at this one now. What is a type? What is a term for a type of attack that involves manipulating or exploiting software vulnerability to gain an authorized access to a computer system or, or network? LinkedIn user said B. When, uh, when you identify and exploit weakness in a system to gain unauthorized access. Yeah, Celestine, thank you. Yeah, thank you. That's Aki. Thank you. Yeah, it is. Thank you for that. So I have the next question. I'm waiting for the answers. Baba Tunde said B. LinkedIn user said B, Michelle said B, Sarah said B. <laughs> Manipulating and exploiting software will not be to gain unauthorized access to a computer system. Some people even said D now. D, Torjan, uh, Tolu Lokwe said Torjan, B, B. B. Okay. We'll find out. I just need more input. Like Ebola. <laughs> so basically like Ebola or sepsis. Link the user say D. Some people are saying D. Oh Lord. Okay, let's see what the computer says. Let's see. What is it? Exploit attack. Exploitation. Exploiting the network. Exploiting the network. Exploiting the software to gain unauthorized access to the computer. Exploitation. Alpha Maximum Network. Ah, welcome Alpha Maximum Network. Thank you. This is, oh, <laughs> hardly. How are you doing early? Nice to see you. Let's share this with others on your network, on our network, Abib. Say B, B, C, B, C, B, Joy, say B. But you see what they say, compute what we have is what exploiting is exploiting exploit attack, attacking the network. Mom B. So it's the exploiting attack, exploit attack is exploiting the network. That exploit has changed the concept of the question. Hmm? It's exploiting the network. <laughs> we are still going. Okay, we have a, a new question. Let's go to the new. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Okay. So what is the term for the process of detecting and responding to security incident in a timely and effective manner? What is the term for the process of detecting and responding 
to security incident in a timely and effective manner. <laughs> cyber ninja in the house. Yes, yes, a lot of cyber ninja. But the other ones also are from different groups. So different, definitely there. We have uh, cyber trilonia in the house as well. Cyber trilonia, you guys are here too. I see you. Kike. Kike was from cyber trilonia group. And, and a lot of people and all are also so everybody has their own groups you guys are doing well you are really cruising today thank you <laughs> mm -hmm. yes yes very good very good so um let's see what is the term for the process of detecting and responding to security incident in a timely and effective manner we have a incident response b data backup, C, system upgrade, and D, network optimization. Oh, Lord. The same process of detecting and responding. Detecting and responding. See, that's how you will know your answer. Responding. Responding. Response. So you kind of look at, even if you don't know, sometimes when you look very well, you might get, get the answer. So we have a lot of people saying, Akin, Dele said A, and uh, Kike, okay, Michelle and I, yeah, you are all from Trilonia's Club. OE Peacock said A. Michelle said A. Incident response to Lope said that. Abib said A. Very good. And Michael said A. Very good. So let's see if we got it. Let's see if we got it right. Incident response, yay! We got it. We got it, guys. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay, I will do one more. I will be running up. So next week, we're going to have a lovely uh, discussion as well. I plan to bring some other quizzes. Do you guys like, you like quizzes? You like interactive question and answers and stuff like that? We'll do, we'll be doing some of those things, okay, to prep, to get you guys break into the job market. So, um, we have another one, and these are pretty much questions also that they can ask you. It's, it's security plus exam, it's prepping for the exams. Okay, so we're not just playing game, we are actually prepping for the exams. Hmm? So it's question 101. This is security plus questions. Okay, so you are learning, you and you guys are doing very well. So these are questions that you can actually prep for the exam. So what is a botnet in cybersecurity? A botnet. Okay, let's go with this. So a network of, com of compromised computers that are controlled by a single entity for malicious purposes. A network of computers that work together to perform a task. Okay, a, a, a network of computers that are protected by a single security system. A network of computers that store data securely. Okay, so let's see what we are getting. A lot of people, let's see what our answer is. I'll start with, um, let's see, the new the new question I just posted. I see Troy said A, um, Seabeck said A, Matthew said A, Olaolu said, Olaolu said A, Princess, and we also have Akindele said A. Okay, so I think a lot of people are doing A, so let's see. It's not the one that I said, okay, I'll just close my, close my eyes and pick all the A's. At least I'll get 90 percent from this class. <laughs> it's the A day class, right? For Lakemi said A, Abasude also said A. So let's see, let's see. Let's see if, if, if it's for really 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 a and michelle is also saying a right now so let's see let's see guys let's make sure it's the a day for real it's, it's an a day for real real oh lord a the network of com of compromised computer that are controlled by a single entity for malicious purposes very good so this is it uh, thank you so very, everybody. Thank you so very much for being here. You all did very well. You all did very well. I thank you for sharing your, your time with me to learn and to come together and to, you know, to, to get inspired by, by this, 
you know, by, by us, by my IT university. It's always my joy to give back and to empower the community. Like I said, you can break into tech. You can do great things in tech. Like someone was saying, no, I don't even know anything that is called Scrum Master until I until I came here, until somebody asked me, you know. So I'm going to be showing you different areas, not only cybersecurity, Scrum, data, like I'm showing you. We have, you know, uh, cybersecurity, Scrum Master, Project Management, Business Analysis, Data Analysis, Cloud, Software Tester, QA, even Product Owner, and so on and so forth. We have some classes that are starting in on March 4th. That's our next classes. They are, we are all open. We are open now for March 4th classes. So make sure you go on on my IT university and schedule a call with me. And I can guide you into what course fits you. Don't wait till last minute. This year is already running. What's today's date? Right? Today's date is what already? Thank you. Thank you. Somebody said, oh, thank you so much. And I'm getting all that. Thank you, Professor Tim. Keep butting your bread. Yes, yes. May God keep watching you. Amen. Thank you, Princess. Uh, and LinkedIn user. Princess, thank you, Prof. This is this was fun. Thank you. I enjoyed it as well. So next week we're gonna do something, same thing, maybe project management or scrum master or data or cloud. So we'll get to learn all those things. I'll be explaining it to you as well. So now I can go back to listen to my security plus. Thank you, Prof. Timmy. Was helpful. Yeah, this is helpful. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. And you know, some of you might be wondering, oh, well, uh, my time is, my schedule is so tight. Thank you. Yeah, no, no, no. It's um, March, March, yeah, we have March 4th. March 4th is our next, um, yeah, March, yeah, it's a Saturday class. I think it's March 4th of it, before Saturday, before Saturday of, of March. Yes, March 4th, that's our next, that, that's our next class. Okay, that's our next class coming off March 4th. So if you're interested in cybersecurity, security plus, uh, Scrum Master, reach out to me. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Le, thank you so much. Thank you. Same here, Mitchell. Yeah. Please, guys, let's like and thank you so much, CBX, for saying that. We need to like and share. Share this, share this, share this. I would really appreciate this. Yes, you are asking what date we are, was for today, and I was replying it. Okay. No, I said what, no, I was saying what date is uh, the, the, no, I was saying what day, date is the March, first Saturday of March. Yeah, so that's March 4th. So make sure you sign up for it. Okay, and make sure you look out for that cybersecurity uh, treasure box that has all your interview preps in one box. Once you purchase it, you are good for life, and you can just use that. And every new new stuff will be added to it every time. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Amati clapping, and thank you. Uh, yeah, you're absolutely the best. Thank you. I try, to, I try my best. <laughs> I try my best, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you so very much. I really, truly, truly appreciate, you know, from the bottom of, of my heart, I appreciate your time, you know, being with me, being with us today. So schedule a call, connect with me. If you have never connected with me on LinkedIn, follow me on LinkedIn. Every Friday evening, I put out an article on LinkedIn. We have article about how to break into tech and what are the different certifications that are out there into cybersecurity without any college degree. You can do it. And I break it down and I explain to you why and how and the benefits. I also have, we also have a current article also that I put out last few days ago on Friday about um, preparing for interviews. Why do you have to prep for interviews? They are out there. Make sure you go on my Link, connect with me on LinkedIn and look at my article session. You'll see that so you can read it. Okay. And follow us on all the social media platform. Okay. We are on all the social media platform. Don't delay. Okay. Don't procrastinate or delay. You can jump on it. Okay. Because here at my university, we coach you. We mentor you. You network in here because we don't throw a student out. We network forever. You network in here, and we get some community support for interviews for everything. And we mentor you, we prep you for interviews. Okay, so that's very important. Mm? Thank you so very much, everybody. 
Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, so let's say thank you, Prof, for this. I learned about exploit attack. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Tell me one thing you learned from this. Give, let me know what one thing that you learned today. Have a blessed day. See you later, Prof. Okay, see you later in class. We have class tonight. Thank you, Kike. And Ola said, you are very resilient when it comes to impacting people. Oh, thank you so much. He said, God bless you, ma. God bless you too. Thank you. Thank you. I have to. I have to impact people. Because, you know, there's some people that you that they need some push. So I give them that. Whatever boost you have, you need. You know, like I'm like, I'm like a one-stop shop for everything. And I'm grateful for to God to be that, you know, because some people they are they are ready to go, but some people you still need to push them, even though they are here, they, they still need pushing. So I still have to like find a way to do that. Yeah, very good, very good, everybody. Thank you all so very much. I'll let you go to about your day today activity. I thank you for your time. Thank you for being here with me. Until next time, we will meet again. I'm Professor Temi with my IT University. I love to give back. I love to empower the community. Reach out to me. Comment, like, subscribe on our YouTube channel. Subscribe on our, you know, follow me on here and like this. Make sure you like this very well and share with others. And comment, let me see what you learned. So that's going to be really good and helpful. And also share with others that are trying to break into tech. Share with them, okay? share with them i really appreciate it subscribe to our youtube channel if you don't have a youtube channel already let me put it here our youtube channel is youtube i just put the link here in case you don't have it dot com slash um at my it university i'm just doing that now as we close okay that's it let me make sure I put the HTTP, right? And make sure you come to us on, um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's there. Make sure. Very good. So you can click that to get into our YouTube. And on LinkedIn, to connect with me on LinkedIn. Okay, let's see. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have Scrum Master question and answer next week. Next week, I'll bring that. And we're having that tonight on Clubhouse. So the leftover from there also, we can always talk about that more. But I'm going to be doing something like that tonight on Clubhouse. Project owner. And uh, so be on time on Clubhouse 6 to 7. Because 7, we have cyber security program tonight. So be on time so you will not miss it. And you can also follow me. Okay, on, on LinkedIn, this is my LinkedIn handle, linkedin.com slash IN slash T. I came on me. That's my LinkedIn. Follow me on LinkedIn. Follow me on YouTube. I'm on, fa we're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. If you don't see, so on, um, on any 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 platform you get to, see that you see me as my at university, or you see me as top group tech. If you follow on Twitter and on LinkedIn, uh, on Twitter and on um, yeah, on Twitter and some of some places, yeah, Twitter I think, yeah, Twitter. And Instagram, I'm top group tech. But on here and other places, I'm my IT university. We're all the same. So thank you all so very much. It's been wonderful uh, having you here. I wish you all a wonderful evening and see you all on Clubhouse and see you all around. Love you all. Have a lovely evening, everybody. Bye-bye.